Right, Newcastle gang. Surely that's a specifically rural problem. You know, I, 
you're defending Brian Aldridge, driving around in his 4 by 4 poisoning the people of Ambridge, and even dancing casseroles. But I, I did see some suggestions on Twitter. There, there might be other reasons why you're defending Brian Aldridge. <laughs> Sorry for Brian Aldridge. <coughs> Brandy on his pony and trap, that's a different story. But again, transport is an issue for people of a certain social class. And if you go to some of the peripheral sink estates in urban areas where people don't have cars, transport, transport can be a real issue for those people too. And those are the sorts of issues that a Borchester Echo reporter should be looking at, rather than presuming rural disadvantage and urban privilege. That's all very interesting, Professor Shortman. We'll certainly be running a much longer feature next week, in next, next week's paper. So I hope you've got evidence to back up your arguments. Well, you can be sure I've got my evidence, but I suggest that you, in the Borchester Echo, start doing your background research. Well, I think that's quite enough for... <laughs>